Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. In. This is Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 178. Welcome to the Friday Blitz. The success sensei, Friday Blitz coming at you. Are you a social media fake? Might sound like a harsh question. And I might even be considered to be a hypocrite because I'm a heavy enough user of social media, especially for work, especially through this and the success sensei, and especially through my job as well. We would heavily use social media. So hopefully I don't break any of these that I'm talking about. But if I do, feel free to pull me up on any of them and send me a message anytime. Right, let's go through a list of social media fakers okay first on my list is the extrovert the extremely communicative outgoing person who in reality when you meet them has absolutely nothing to say and a very bland if any personality whatsoever but any of their social media platforms suggest the opposite and they're very different people with a lot of opinions a lot of banter but that's not who they are in reality. So that's the first person. The second person is the person who projects the perfect life. Everything is spectacular. Everything is through the eyes of a perfectionist and appears to be uh, perfectionism to absolutely everybody else that is witnessing this. And the whole thing is designed to make you feel like your life is imperfect and that you are failing in comparison. And again, I would kind of argue that perhaps their life isn't as perfect as the life that they're trying to project to you. Okay, that was the second person. The third person, similar enough, but they're trying to project a happy life, the happiest life that they that could possibly be perceived they're trying to project to you that everything is happy everything is great lots of smiles lots of harmony in their life lots of balance lots of um th lots of things of a bohemian hippieish nature um yoga people tend to be particularly in the in the category and and motivational coaches or happiness coaches seem to be the, the ones that are projecting a happy life all of the time and we know that in real life being happy and being up all of the time is impossible without very strong 24 7 medication okay so that was the happy life right next one is the affluent life you will see this one a lot people trying to make you feel bad at your economic level because they have so much affluence so much money so many nice things private jets custom bentleys everything just absolutely anything that can be possibly projected to you to make you feel like you're struggling and you're impoverished in comparison to their affluence and again i would say to you while yeah, arguably 0.01% of these accounts might actually be real. A lot of them are not. There's been many famous ones of people, gurus, who uh, had leased several um, expensive high-value sports cars just for a particular photographic and video shoot and to pass themselves off as being highly affluent. Don't believe everything you see and everything you read. Okay, the next one that you'll get as well is the person projecting that they're very tough and very strong mentally physically spiritually they're very tough and very strong but it's very necessary for you to think that they are for you to perceive that they are and again i would hasten to add that in my humble opinion things are not always as they seem someone projecting so hard that they're tough and strong you know if they really were would they really need to let everybody know would they be that insecure that they they really need you to, per to perceive that about them 
The next one on the list is people projecting this perfectly healthy life, that they're a very healthy person leading a very healthy life. So as if they don't have cheat days, as if they don't sit in their pajamas, feeling down, eating ice cream days, as if it's literally salads and power foods and quinoa all of the time without fail, without any setbacks, without falling off the wagon. Um, and again, it, the whole thing is designed for us to, to buy into it and for us to look at our lives and go, I can't possibly be as healthy as that um, and to feel inferior and insecure. Um, so screw them for trying to make us feel like that. Right, the next one as well is the controversial person, the person who tries to project like they're this maybe somewhat crazy, maybe somewhat dangerous, but controversial. Um, with opinions on everything. And again, in real life, they tend not to be as confrontational as they project themselves to be. So there, they might all sound like annoying people. I've exaggerated all of those profiles. I'm sure we've all hit areas of those at some stage in our lives. And I'm sure we've projected stuff that wasn't necessarily true at some stage in our life. I mean, I tried to make a habit of not doing it, but I'm sure we've all fallen into that category. It's It's... You know human nature but I want to give you a quick example of something that happened to me today because this is what actually made me do one on you know being a social media fake I live as some of you know in a fairly very rural environment and um, I'm not out of touch with reality I have a very sociable job but I tend to avoid very very public places and very busy places I mean obviously Christmas sales I'm there like everybody else but you know, other oftentimes I tend to avoid them. But having kids, I, I, you know, you have to do what you have to do, and you have to play along and 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 be the proper daddy and bring them to some places that I wouldn't necessarily go to. So I was in a very public place today, a very very busy public place today. And one thing I noticed that I've never noticed before is the amount of people in the general area walking past, just hanging out in the general area, vying for attention from strangers. As if almost, almost as if they imagined their, their every aspect of their lives was being videoed or monitored or observed. It, it, it was like life imitating social media. It was like they were carrying on the way their social media. It wasn't them. It was like their own memes. It was like their own avatars were actually walking around. And I've never observed this before. And it was definitely a thing. I definitely saw how it's changing and reshaping our reality. Um, because they were trying to include strangers. They were trying to just simply being noticed with with louder behavior than normal, with you know, doing quirky things, just just attention seeking, more so than I've ever noticed before. Um, so it's just an observation. Maybe I'm way behind the times. Maybe I'm bang on it. I don't know. That's up to you. You can let me know. Either way, I don't mind. Let me know either way. I'm not telling you what way to be on your social media or how to project on your social media. I'm on it. Sure, I'm projecting to you. That's This is a part of the whole success sensei is very much social media driven. It's only an observation. What is your observation? I would love to hear it. I would love to hear. Um, you let me know about the people, if they irritate you with their fake profiles. I wanna know if, if that's what you're doing, but it's for a reason and you're branding or you're marketing a particular item or your business. Let me know, justify what you're doing or just generally banter with me about at this particular episode. I, it's a fun episode. I would love to hear what you think about it and I would love to hear your input. And feel free, as I said, to call me up if, I, if you reckon I've broken any of these. That's fine as well. Um, I'm not aware of it. And I'd, <laughs> I'd love the banter being caught out on it. So let message me anytime. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the success sensei. Fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.